Welcome back to Clanker's Cavern! Last time we explored the underwater areas of this place. But today we're going to be focusing on uh, the, the stuff that's above the water level, as well as uh, Clanker's innards. That's, that's right, we're going to be heading into Clanker in this video. So, um... Oh yeah, seeing this pipe, I'm reminded. I totally forgot about it in the last video. But uh, underneath this pipe, there is an extra honeycomb piece. I can just get it. I can't see a damn thing! No wonder it's hidden so well. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we had to have another of those weird glitchy camera moments to see it. But uh, at least it was actually beneficial this time. Otherwise, I might have spent a little more. No! I do not want to go back underwater. Thank you. Okay, so... We were not quite done there yet because we have to have to go to uh, the other way to collect everything. As you can see, there's yet another pole there that's rather easy to miss, to be honest. And uh, this uh, this thing here, you can just ground pound it. And there's a Jinjo inside as well as extra life. I thought it was going to be a uh, the other extra honeycomb piece. And but uh, now that now that I'm thinking of it, I have a pretty good idea of where it is, and that's actually where we're headed right now. So, I want to return on that pole, but instead of uh, busting uh, through that cage thing there, I want to keep going down, make sure to have Kazooie go down there, else uh, if you have Banjo, he's just going to start sliding and you're going to lose control. Then jump over there, and if I remember, that's where the other extra honeycomb piece is. There we go! So now that we've collected six of those, we now have um, uh, an extra honeycomb to play with. We have seven, remember, the max in this game is eight. So uh, once that's done, you want to head to the other side of this room because there is a... There are yet more goodies to uh, grab here, and by the way, those beehives, I haven't, I don't think I've ever mentioned what they do, well you saw it just now, uh, if you destroy them, uh, they're going to release uh, three honeycomb pieces for you to uh, heal yourself. So, uh, this is more of this uh, out and in uh, thing that we saw uh, back at, at uh, Shark Food Island in a Treasure Trove Cove. And this leads to an extra life, though this was sort of mandatory to get 100% anyway, because uh, we had a few notes to grab there. Now, uh, if you remember, I didn't mention it in the last video, I didn't make note of it, but Clanker said he had a toothache. So you gotta aim, you see those, uh, te uh, that tooth that shines more than the rest? You gotta try- NO! I did not want to turn the camera around! Just- Stay centered behind Banjo, okay. So, you want to try and aim... I think I got two, but, um... I, I think I shot two as well, so I'm gonna have to wait. Uh, I, I don't think it's possible to get uh, three eggs in one go. Of course, if you're a... Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't want to go in! I wanted to see the dialogue! Oh, well, not nothing really interesting, I think. Uh, anyway, you get a jiggy for uh, curing... Uh, Clanker's toothache on this side, but there's uh, another tooth that hurts uh, over on the other side, so we're gonna take care of that. Hopefully I don't suck as much as I did uh, with the other one. Okay, I, w I wanna have a good angle for shooting. Uh, that's not gonna do it. Uh, maybe like that. I think we're gonna be okay with that. So let's... No! And I... Okay, I got one at least. I was about to say I missed, but uh, at least I managed to get one. Oh, I missed! Come on! Just hit those... Urgh! Fuck my life! This is horrible! Okay, two, three. There we go. Oh my god, that was absolutely pathetic. I'm sorry you had to uh, sit through that. 19 mumbo tokens. This means that we got all the mumbo tokens in the Clanker's Cavern. And no, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, figured as much. So. Oh, great, that's brilliant. Jump right on top of the other crab. Man, I am doing horrible today. If I, if I, if I didn't do... If I did outtakes, rather, I'd probably start over, but, um, 
Yeah, you, you, you guys know I don't do that. I have too much integrity to do that. I'm gonna show you all the failures that I go through, even if they're, even if they can get them. Somewhat time-consuming at times. So many eggs wasted anyway, god. Anyway, those things, there's no way to kill them. You just want to get around them, and look what we got here! Then there's no time to waste! Yep, seems like Clanker swallowed Lex Luthor at some point in time. So we're gonna have to, uh... <laughs> to swim and uh, jump through oversized hula hoops! Fun, isn't it? But uh, I, I, guess, I guess I shouldn't complain because the controls aren't nearly as bad as in Superman 64. So you know, small things, and uh, the time limit is pretty is pretty loose too. So it's not really that much of a problem. 48 seconds is more than enough to get through this. I think there's only this one ring left. Look at all the time that's left. Yes, not today, Lex. But that's enough of, of that, let's go claim our prize. Uh, doing this also raises the water level. It really doesn't change much, except for the fact that you can go and uh, grab this jiggy. I was sort of worried that uh, I couldn't get up to it, since uh, you can't grab on onto ledges until Banjo-Tooie, but... Um, oh well, from here there are two ways out, one on the lot, one on the... One on the right and one on the left. One on the light and one on the left, I was about to say. Okay, so we got a few notes here. So now what we're going to do, if you remember, Bottles told us that uh, he was going to teach us a move here and it's hidden well. Well, that is where we're going to go right now. But for that, uh, you're going to want to enter uh, uh, the, the inside of Clanker from his blowhole. Wait a minute, did I do what was up there? I don't think so, actually. No, I didn't, so it's a good thing I checked. We got the four notes as well as a jiggy there, so just, just gonna do that. Be careful, because it's not, <laughs> it's not a very large ledge. Okay, uh, there we go. No problem. That, now that wasn't so hard now, was it? So uh, now, that this, that now that this is done, we can actually enter a clanker through his blowhole. Uh, that sounded dirtier than I intended it to be. <laughs> well, not not that anyone would ever complain about dirty jokes in LPs, but whatever. Let's get in. Okay. And from here, here's the witch switch, which is going to cause this to happen. Uh, remember that uh, picture of Gruntilda? Well... We're gonna have to come back to that room later in order to get the corresponding jiggy. Now you just want to make sure that uh, you you don't get chopped up by these. It's not a one-hit kill. You, you yeah, you do lose a uh, uh, one honeycomb if you get hit. But um, okay, now that now this wasn't such a hard jiggy. It's sort of redundant. In, in fact, since uh, you're required to come through here to learn bottle smooth anyway. Uh, wait a minute, that appears to be a lie, in fact, because um, once you raise the water level, it looks like you can actually get up on that uh, flight pad even without going through what I did just now. Oh, well, it, it, it got us a jiggy, so <laughs> not complaining. Anyway, this is where Bottles is. As I said, really well hidden. He really wasn't kidding. Anyway, he's going to teach us the Wonder Wing, which makes... Uh, Banjo and Kazooie invulnerable through the use of golden feathers. Uh, there are a few uses for this. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of those um, spinning blades from earlier, except they're much faster this time around, so we're gonna, so we're gonna need those gold feathers to get through there. And, uh, yeah, to perform that, you need to, uh, hold Z and press C right in order to do the move. And, uh, by the way, it's also interesting to note that it's the only way to kill certain enemies, especially undead, that, are, that we're going to encounter later on in the game. Much less useful in Banjo-Tooie, though I think the only place where you actually need to use it is to get a, a Jinjo in Hailfire Peaks. So, uh, let's go through there and give you a demonstration of the power of the Wonder Wing! So, this is as simple as that. You are invincible when uh, using the Wonder Wing. So let's grab some more of these feathers to uh, be able to go back. So now, I think 
we, the only thing we're missing is three notes and, and the, the Jinjo Jiggy, and that's exactly where we're headed to do. Remember, um, when I went uh, to the right the last time I exited this room? Well, the, the rest of the collectibles in this level are right over there to the left. So we got one note, we got another note, thank you for the energy, and there's the last note. And there is the last Jinjo right down there. You just want to avoid that tentacle. As I said, the only way to be able to deal with it is by dodging it entirely. So, we got all the Jinjos. We got all the Jiggies. We got both extra honeycomb pieces. We got all five of Mumbo's token in this world, which means that we are completely done. And the exit is that way, right in front of uh, Clanker's face. So yeah, that was it for World 3, Clanker's Cavern. Sort of apologize for um, sucking so badly at the beginning of the video, but I guess um, I didn't perform that badly after the point where I uh, got pummeled by those crabs. And if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to grab those eggs because uh, the fact that I was so horrible at aiming earlier on means that have a little hole in my egg supply. Not that it's a huge deal. 85 eggs is still a lot. It's just that um, I personally don't like uh, being at uh, anything below the supply max for too long. Uh, by the way, something that I want to mention since uh, YouTube's been screwing that up a lot lately. Uh, I uploaded a new part for Pokemon Soul Silver yesterday. I would like you to check it out if you haven't done so yet. Because, well, uh, there's a Speed Gamers marathon coming soon, and I do my mandatory advertisement there. And it's possible that some of you may not have seen it because, uh, well, uh, YouTube's doing a really sloppy job at uh, getting uh, the, the fact that the videos from your subscriptions are actually going through. Anyway, we have no more business left in this area of Gruntilda's Lair, since if you remember, I already went and opened up Bubble Gloop Swamp ahead of time. So one last thing before we move on to the Bubble Gloop Swamp area, is that if you remember, we pressed that witch switch earlier, which caused uh, those eyes to go up, and yeah, <laughs> it appeared right on top of me, awesome. But, um... Now, moving on. Why do I talk all the time? It's really hard to make these rhyme. So, basically, uh, Minjella did her a favor in Banjo-Tooie by asking her to stop doing these. But, uh, I, gu I guess I still don't have to like it because uh, it's just so fun to hear Gruntilda go around, you know, rhyming and stuff. And, uh, yeah, we needed 180 notes to open this note door. We now have 300. So, this was a fairly one to get past at this point. Uh, now, if I remember, this Jiggy, we can't get it yet. It's only gonna be, uh, taken care, taken care of later. And yeah, uh, my memories were right, and uh, Brentilda indeed was behind that uh, giant Gruntilda scarecrow thingy. No, whoops, wrong button. Talk to Brentilda! And I can't stress this enough. This is important. You have to talk to Brantilda every time you see her. This may not look like much, but it's actually going to be very, very useful later on. Oh, um... Now, I don't want to end up as the... As the snack for that giant piranha, so I'm gonna get the hell out of there and into the room where the entrance to, to Bubble Gloop Swamp is located. Now, there are two more of those, um... I wouldn't call them pipes, but tunnels, like... And uh, here's Brentilda again. I figured that uh, she was going to be in one of these. Favorite support is belly barging. Yeah, with the size of, the, of that belly, she got to be pretty good at it, too. Fat hag high. Okay, you won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is blowing balloons up with her butt. Yeah! actually called it! Oh my god! Well, this is actually sort of predictable because um, 
Gruntilda's butt is the butt of many jokes. And those are the waving boots. We can't use those right now. We can only learn to use them in Bubble Blue Swamp. And that's where we're going to go next time. So join me in the next episode for World 4 of Banjo-Kazooie.